Steve Witt of Nintex, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. What are agencies doing and what do you think they should be doing to make sure that they're securing their systems, getting the outcome they want versus complying with rules, regulations, and law that may or may not get them to the end state that they actually want? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And we had uh, experience through our, our, our FedRAMP process where um, we would have like a moderate finding, we needed to make some changes, and we actually worked proactively uh, with the, the sponsoring agency and the FedRAMP PMO to identify not just a solution that would check the box, but a solution that would really be a best practice guidance for how we should implement the change on our end to make sure that we ultimately would get the, the ATO from the agency as well as our, our FedRAMP authorization. Uh, knock on wood, it's in, in, in process right now. I imagine there's a temptation to just say, okay, let's just do what we need to do in the moment rather than take that long view that you just described that you and your company did. What is the motivation, what's the impetus for wanting to say, well, the easy way would be this, but we're gonna do this that will give us that long-term benefit too, and, and benefit the whole community, it sounds like, if you're establishing a best practice. Right, and I think that's a, that's a great question. I think there's this, you know, um, you fight the clearing the bar, yeah, right? Because a lot of the, the process is, hey, I just need to clear the, clear the bar, not by how much. The problem is the bar is always going higher. Mm -hmm. uh, what we heard is uh, today in the sessions was, you know, FedRAMP high is going to become the new norm and the new standard, right? So if you just clear the, the bar to moderate, right, now how are you going to meet high? So you're constantly, you know, security is constantly evolving and changing and you want to go for the highest, most secure product you can put out there. Is there a risk, though, that by making, so for example, FedRAMP high becomes the new normal, if that's the baseline, is there a risk that we eventually get to where, you know, the amp has to go to 11 and the, we keep pushing and pushing and it's we're not necessarily really measuring it the right way anymore? Or does that not matter, maybe? Yeah, I think it was going to be, you know, the world's constantly changing, right? Things that were like things that we're solving for now didn't exist before, mm -hmm. right? I mean, the, the pandemic was a great example of that. We're solving problems that didn't exist, right? And next year, we're going to be solving for security problems that didn't exist uh, today. So I think it's constantly evolving and having to get better. So yeah, as as things get, as the, the attackers get more and more vigilant on what they're doing, uh, the need for security is going to have to improve as well. Mentioning best practices, what are some of the things that you're seeing agencies do, either your customers or other organizations that you talk to across government? What are some of the things that are consistent among those organizations in continuing to work on security not ignoring compliance, but giving it what it, the organization have to do to maintain it and really staying focused on the security itself. Yeah, I think from, from my standpoint, you know, as a, someone who looks at process a lot, I see organizations adopting a lot of uh, like a process centric approach. Uh, to how they how they you know how do they approach the whole the whole problem right is being able to have something that's repeatable right so if, I, if this happens and this happens and this happens and having something that's defined as a process is something I see kind of across all the different agencies that we work with Steve it's great to talk to you thanks for your time today oh thank you.